So this talk is entitled The Power of Upper Cervical and it's become quite popular uh, recently among dentists and dental therapists because uh, more and more people are starting to cotton on to the fact that um, there's, there's more to uh, the head and face than just the, the front bits. Uh, there are the back bits which involve brain and upper spine and neck and uh, all of these things can contribute to TMJ problems and uh, teeth problems and so uh, the purpose of this talk is to cover um, uh, the overlapping neurology of TMJ, brainstem and, uh, and cervical spine. Now the, the functional aspect of neurology uh, implies that say people have uh, health issues and they go for x-rays or they go for MRIs or they go for blood tests and all these things, all these tests come back clear as in there's there's nothing to find, but the individual is, there's still problems, they're still unhealthy, they're still in pain, but no one is finding anything. Uh, there's still a problem, there's still uh, some aspect of unwellness with that individual and it comes down to how the nervous system is actually firing and how uh, collectively it's working as a whole and uh, that individual's experience of life is, is being greatly diminished because it's not it's not working and so uh, my job is to uh, check the person out from tip to toe and see how all these things are related to each other, all the problems that are related to each other, how the different areas of the nervous system and the body are interconnected and figure out a way to make the nervous system work better and uh, one of the tools that we use is, uh, is the spine and we're obviously not going to cut someone open and do brain surgery, uh, there has to be a more um, uh, convenient or a less invasive way to create changes in the nervous system and so uh, we use the spine and um, uh, we're, we're taught as um, as children uh, growing up to look after our teeth, uh, it, it's embedded in our understanding that you need to uh, start going to the dentist as, uh, as soon as you can to uh, make sure your teeth are growing properly and make sure that you brush your teeth every day uh, because you're looking at it in the mirror every, every morning and every evening um, hopefully twice a day um, and seeing whether they're uh, crooked or uh, sh shiny or uh, dirty or chipped or uh, you know what state the teeth are in but uh, very few people acknowledge uh, what's happening with the control system which is your spine and the reason for that is behind you and not a lot of people think about their spine because uh, they don't see it every day um, they're only really alerted to the fact that um, you know, if there's if there's a problem, they're alerted to that fact by pain, and pain is not always a good measure of whether there's a problem in the body or not, because you can have uh, pain without illness and illness without pain. Uh, 